Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Red lipstick is always my go-to bold shade. A lot of people like to wear, you know, bright pink or fuchsia, or they go for like deep burgundies or plums. Red is my go-to. Like that is the bold shade that I always gravitate towards. So I thought in the spirit of Valentine's Day coming up, I thought it'd be fun to round up some great red lipstick recommendations or red lip recommendations. Some are like a liquid lipstick and I don't think any are glosses. Red lip gloss, I don't know. One of them is a gloss, but it is somewhat thick. I don't know, sometimes it can move too much and whatnot. So I always like to stay with the lipstick route. And so I thought I'd round up a few, and there's good, a good wide variety here. Today I kind of switched it up. You guys know I'm always in a orange red. So I thought I would wear something quite different. And this is a much more of a classic red almost a little blue and it has a little bit of blue tone to it and it is the Louboutin um, just classic uh, Louboutin red uh, lipstick and I think it's just the satin formula you know what really stinks about these though I gotta say they, like there's no there's no name zero zero one which I already knew okay here we go itch on my face as soon as I start filming I know it's 001, the Louboutin red, but I think it's the satin. It's definitely not the matte, I know that. But I definitely think, I think it's the satin. So something a little bit different. Some other reds that I really enjoy. And I have in here some of my Holy Grail reds and then other ones that I really um, wear a ton. Okay, by Laura, not Laura Mercier, I was gonna say Laura Mercier, but the name is Tell Laura from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is classic memory in the way that it is bright orangey red yes love it the formula is like a creamy matte it does kind of move around a little bit but the color is just so magnificent that i overlook any type of movement of it another one that you guys know at this point that i've talked about a hundred times this is gonna be a little more of like an orangey red if you really want to you know if you don't like a cool tone red or a classic red you're like me you like you know, more of an orangey red um, by Rodin. This is Tough Tomato, which really looks orange kind of on my hand right there, but it really isn't. It's quite red when on the lips. All right, then we've got NARS Heat Wave, a classic, classic color. These are all of my like really orangey toned reds, but NARS Heat Wave, I just wear all the time. I'm constantly grabbing for it. This dress is not made for. I wanted to wear something kind of like festive and cute. Oh my gosh, this is one of my old Clover Canyon dresses. And I don't know if you guys know that brand, but I have a few of their dresses. And this one I wear almost every holiday because I just love the festive prints and I've worn it on Valentine's Day. But like when I move it, like all like bunches up and stuff because it's like a neoprene fabric. All right, NARS Heat Wave. Went on, I love it. If you've tried it, I'm sure you love it too. Gucci, iconic red. Now we're moving away from the super orange to a little bit more balanced red. This is a little bit more classic. I will never, ever, ever, ever be without this red because it is perfection. What they did is they took the red in the Gucci logo, which I've always admired and said, gosh, they need to make a lipstick in that color because it's the perfect red. And they did, and it's called Gucci Iconic Red. I've talked about it for years and years, ever since I purchased it. So I highly recommend if you're going to, you know, splurge on one that you kind of want to fall in the middle, Gucci Iconic Red is so perfect. But they did come out with a matte formula last year, which I have and really enjoyed as well. So the regular one is a little bit creamy. The Gucci Iconic Red matte formula, one of the best mattes out there because it has such amazing slip to it. So it as I'm like even swiping it, it's just gliding across my arm. There is obviously a little bit of play to it, meaning that when you put it on, it's gonna move around on your lips. It does dry down, but not in the way of like a really strong matte lipstick. Now, I've talked about this red before because if you wanna wear red, but you really are not like, you know, you're not comfortable with something like this, I have a sheer, more sheer option. It's not super sheer because I find that a very sheer, sheer, sheer red. Sometimes can look like you've just been like sucking on a popsicle and there's just stuff on your, you know what I mean? Like you're like, mm, I don't know, did where you just have a lollipop or something? So I feel like there's sheer red and then there's like popsicle, Benetint 
stuff. I don't, I don't really like that look. Some people, it may work for you, but I personally, on me, it's always like, finish that lip there. You got, like, what else you need to put on? So this is Max Ladybug. Just, it's their luster texture. It's gorgeous. It's smooth. I mean, I applied a lot of layers to that, but you can just kind of swipe it on. It gives enough of a coverage that it is red, but it's not Louboutin red, where you're like, ooh. And I know a lot of people ask, I've gotten questions before, like, how do you find a red for your skin tone? First of all, that whole question, I, I mean, I've worked behind the counter for years and years and years, and I still, people come up and ask me that question, I'll be like, I don't know, let's just start trying lipsticks. I mean, I know there's like some science, some counters are like, if you have blue, if you have more orange undertones, or yellow, or this or that, and for me, I just always pick out some reds, go with what you're comfortable with, regardless of like skin tone or like, you know, the, the undertones of your skin or whatnot. If you're not comfortable in the red and like I'm saying like orange red is for you and you don't like orange red or you're like, this is not for me, then don't wear that. So the people ask me, how do you, you know, wear a red lipstick? And I used to, my recommendation all the time to any people that used to come to the counter, you have to wear it. That's it. You have to wear it and you have to get used to seeing yourself with it on because the first time I put on red lipstick, I was like, this looks awful. Now I'm so used to seeing myself with red lipstick that it looks fantastic. And I, I love it. I think it looks fantastic. But initially it was very uncomfortable for me. And even people that saw me and it were not used to seeing me wear red lipstick. So it was kind of jarring. So I used to recommend to my girls that would come to the counter, I'd say, wear it on the weekends when you're not going anywhere, wear it around the house just by one and get yourself comfortable with it, then wear it to the you know, grocery store or wear it somewhere like, you know, rather than to work or on a date or something where you're a little bit hesitant. So, and, but then some people just are never gonna be red lipstick lovers and that's okay. I applaud that, that's why there's nude lipsticks out there and pink and burgundy, it's something for everybody. All right, we've got the Hourglass Raven. Is that what it is? Raven, liquid lipstick. Okay, this is, if you apply this um, in the evening, it'll probably won't come off till like five days later. Just know that about these hourglass lipsticks. If you're, you're wearing this on a date and then you're gonna see the person like in the next few days, he'll probably still see it on your lips for the days to come because that's how difficult it is to get that color off. A little bit more orange. I think it's beautiful. I know that a lot of people like Icon from Hourglass. I like Raven a little bit better. All right, Tom Ford Lips and Boys in Dylan. I showed this color during the holidays and I said, girls and guys, guys can rock a, rock a red lipstick too, if that's what you're into, get this shade Dylan for the holidays. It's such a festive red. It's very, very classic. It's not too blue. It's not too red. I think it's a little even more classic than my Gucci Iconic Red. The Gucci Iconic Red still skews a little orange where Dylan from Tom Ford is just really falls right in that middle. I mean, I definitely think the one that I'm wearing, the Louboutin is, I mean, it, it has a little bit more blue burgundy tones than even the Dylan does. All right, this red is not as in your face. It's such a subtle, more like, it's just kind of a laid back red. That's what it is. This is Kevin Aquan and Elia Rice. Elia Rice, I, I don't, I'll link it below and write it below. It, while it looks in line with the rest of them, when I have it on my lips, it's a very much more laid back red. It's not as, as in your face. I think this color, I've never heard anyone talk about this color, where a lot of these are buzzed about and talked about, but this is such a stunning color. Okay, I'm like slammed it down on the table. Mm, like got something to say. Okay, and then Military Red by Burberry in these, their full kisses. Oh my gosh. This is such a gorgeous, 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 gorgeous red. I mean, they all really look the same. They're different, as many of you know, but um, to an untrained eye, they all look the same. <laughs> Though, uh, Military Red is definitely probably more classic red than a lot of, doesn't skew as orange. And then, of course, the Louboutin Liquid Lipstick in the classic um, Louboutin shade. Um, where am I gonna put this? Let me put this on the side. Oh my gosh, my arm, it's like this, this stuff isn't gonna come off for like a week. I'm like convinced. All these red lipsticks, with all that pigmentation. So that red is, 
that's going to be closer to what I'm wearing and a little bit more blue. I find that colors like this, like this kind of red, it's a little bit deeper, a little bit darker, a little more blue. It can make my lips look a little bit smaller. So just, I don't know, I noticed that. So if you do have small lips, I have quite, you know, my lips aren't very full. Um, they're kind of medium, whatever. But if you have smaller lips, I find that kind of like a darker red or even bluer red sometimes can make them look a little smaller. I love the brighter reds, the more vibrant orangey reds, because I find that they make my lips look a little bit fuller. I don't know. And okay, let's talk quick about some lip liners. I'm not a big lip liner fan when it comes to red lipsticks. I know some people are like, you must wear a lip liner. I was probably hard. That's why I was in management behind the counter rather than actual in sales because I was like, yeah, buy a red lipstick. Oh, right, you're gonna need a liner with that. <laughs> my girls were like so great. My girls and guys at the counter were so great at, you know, putting a liner with everything because I just myself rarely ever use a liner. I sometimes do, but I more use liners as lip colors. But, um, you know, if you're looking for some suggestions, 714 by Urban Decay. I don't know, I hope they make this one still. This is from the Gwen Stefani one line. That's a really beautiful classic um, red lip liner. This one from Urban Decay. Oh, this is 714. They still make it. Mm, that was embarrassing. I like pulled it out and I was like, oh, they're the same color. You can see how much I use them. Then this Makeup Forever in the High Precision Lip Pencil in number 40. Now this is a little bit browner. This is a very, so if you, See that? See how it's a little bit more dull and a little bit more brown? So if you have a bright lipstick and you want to tone it down because you're like, I just, I can't with the brightness. So first you can put on a nude lip liner. That's a, a great option. Sometimes when you put um, red lipsticks over top of a nude lip liner, it helps to dull it down. And something like this, which is a little more brown. I don't have my MAC Brick Liner anymore, but that was a liner that I often used to recommend to customers that would come in as a way to dull down a brighter red lipstick for people that really love to use a lip liner with their red lipsticks. So thought this was a good way to kind of, I mean, Valentine's Day is a great day to talk about red lipsticks, but in general, for those of you that just were looking for a great red lipstick, here's a, um, some of my selections and some of my favorites, favorite formulas, favorite colors, and most of them are pretty, you know, intense, except for the Mac Ladybug, which is a little bit more sheer and two lip liners. So happy Valentine's Day. And if you're not gonna celebrate Valentine's Day, happy Feb February 14th, regular day. And um, let me know what red lipsticks you love because uh, I know that a lot of you read each other's comments and get some great suggestions from each other. And I always love to um, see that and see what you guys uh, suggest as well. So I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.